In today's video, I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes of what it's like to be a football photographer at Millwall versus Sheffield Wednesday. Let's do it. So today's job is to cover the match day photography for Millwall versus Sheffield Wednesday. Um, it's actually on behalf of, of Millwall. They basically want some creative match day photography. So they've asked me to come down and yeah, just basically free roam and shoot as much as I can to go out live during the game and after the game for like highlights and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be shooting this video today on my Canon G7X. I would normally use my uh, Lumix GH5, but I'm gonna be using both of them to shoot the football, so. Yeah, let's go. I'll see you at the den. So I've just parked, now walking to the ground. I've got all my waterproofs today and an umbrella as well because it's due to be heavy rain and even snow tonight. So I love shooting in bad weather because it kind of gives it like a really dramatic feel to it and it makes the shots a little bit more creative. So it's actually my second time shooting a professional football match. Um, the first time they actually lost 1-0 to Derby and um, obviously when you're shooting for a certain team you want to make sure that team does well because that's when they're going to be happy and they're going to be on top of the game and the shots are going to be good. Um, so let's hope for that today. They're playing the Sheffield Wednesday who are below them in the league. Um, they're both playing pretty well, so let's hope for a good result and some goals. So I've been shooting sports for probably eight or nine years, but I've never shot for a professional team. So to do that is massive and I really enjoy it. Today, there's no fans, which is good in a way because it kind of gives you full access. You can go wherever you want without blocking the fans' views. Now, the mask's on, obviously safety first. Although there's no fans in the stadium, we've still got to be masked up just for the players' sake and everything like that. So, yeah, we're nearly there now. So I've now just had my temperature checked at the gate. It's all good, I'm allowed in. Now we've got to head to the media office and get our pass and then we're into the ground. So I've now got my pass, it's time to head into the ground, find a position to start shooting. So we're now pitch side um, in a quiet stadium, it's pretty eerie. So I'm about to go and find my um, Millwall connection where I'll have a little chat about what they want from me during the game. And yeah, hopefully we can meet their expectations and get the job done. connection at Millwall I could see standing around the dugouts and behind him was um, the shard and it was just a really cool shot so I quickly sent him a voice and I was like quickly turn around sort of move this way move that way and I've got the shot and yeah you can see that here it's a pretty cool shot
Okay, so it's half time, currently one all. Uh, Millwall's goal was a penalty and it was to equalise as well, so there wasn't that much of a celebration. So let's hope in the second half we will go ahead and yeah, celebration, they go crazy. Uh, hopefully we get some good shots. Uh, got a lot of good shots. The light is getting much darker now, so the ISO is cranking up, which is making it a bit more grainy, but yeah, it is what it is. Half time is a really good time to go through the photos, save some of the best ones and send them off. So that's what I'm doing here on GH5. What you can do is connect to your app and you can directly save them to your phone. Then you can quickly edit them on an app if you want or you can just send them the raw, which I was doing. So it's game over, it finished 4-1 to Millwall, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, there was lots of goals and there were absolute bangers as well. It's in a shame that the celebrations were on the other side of the pitch, so we didn't get the shots that we hoped for, but we got the rain that we hoped for and yeah, the shots were great in the rain. It makes it look so much more dramatic. Um, so I can't wait to get home and edit these photos. I've sent the raw ones straight to the team now so they can post them on social media where however they want. With sports photography, it's really important to make sure that your shutter speed is high enough to make sure that you're freezing the action. And you wanna try and get the ball in in whatever sport you're doing as much as possible because otherwise it's just a player jumping in the air or just a kick in the air. You need the ball in the shot to show what's going on. So I'm now gonna show you on my computer how I edit some of my photos. So the good thing about it is you can just tweak anything you want and you can undo stuff. So if you, you can't make mistakes really, it's just moving the dials until you think the photo is exactly how you want it.
So thanks for watching. Make sure to follow my channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below.